In uh, 1995, I had taken a bike trip to Italy, and I was visiting the town of Treviso and met uh, Giovanni Pinarello, who's a, uh, a cycling icon in the world of professional cycling. We were talking with him, and several kids came in, little kids came into the shop, and uh, one of them tugged his sleeve and said, you have to come outside with us in Italian. And he excused himself and asked us if he'd like to come, and we went out there. It turns out every Thursday evening, all the kids in the town would have a bike race. Mr. Pinarello would be the fellow who started the race since he was the most famous cyclist in the region. Uh, and I got to thinking it would be kind of a cool idea if we started a program that actually uh, got kids into cycling. In the neighborhood that our hospital sits in, it's part of the asthma belt. The asthma belt in New York City is uh, the South Bronx, East Harlem, and North Brooklyn. Um, and one of our earliest projects and one of the things that got me into, into having connections with so many schools is to deal with the asthma epidemic that we were seeing. Asthma was the number one reason children were coming to our emergency room. It was the number one reason children were being admitted. A lot had to do with uh, the fact that kids weren't getting the proper treatment. So we set up a huge program with the Department of Health, with the Department of Education. Over the last 15 years, we've reduced asthma um, hospitalizations and ER visits by almost 70%. Kids with asthma can do anything. Uh, there are dozens of asthmatic athletes who win gold, silver, and bronze medals. And uh, our feeling is if, if they can compete at an international level, there's no reason we can't have a kid ride a bicycle. So we've been to places like the Museum of Natural History, the Science Museum. We've gone to Lincoln Center where they've met uh, professional musicians and learned how an orchestra is set up. Uh, we've gone to um, Plum Beach with the, the spawning grounds of horseshoe crabs and they'll, they'll uh, see an environmentalist who will teach them all about the watershed. Um, we've gone to things that are just fun, like um, going to Coney Island. It's really a, a very varied um, set of rides for them to have experiences that they might not otherwise have uh, um, as a kid. Uh, there are a lot of programs for kids in cycling throughout the United States. I, I'd like to think that ours is one of the largest ones and one of the most, uh, one of the best developed. Whatever, whatever works for kids, that we can get as many children as possible into riding, so that we can change the culture, so that uh, cycling becomes a an accepted um, mode of transportation for kids in the future, uh, so that as adults they can continue riding, uh, build cycling into their lifestyle, 